Hey CFL fans, I'm Krista Gamos and I'm here at Varsity Center in Toronto, Ontario at the 2008 CFL Evaluation Camp. We have 52 players here from all across North America who are undergoing a series of tests, drills and exercises to see if they have what it takes for the Canadian Draft in April. We're going to see what the players have to undergo mentally and physically and exactly what the coaches are looking for when drafting a player. Be sure to stay tuned because we're going to take you inside Evaluation Camp. On the first day of e-camp, the players are situated at a nearby hotel and are put through a series of rigorous tests in front of the GMs, coaches and scouts from all across the league. First the e-campers are measured head to toe and then tested on their flexibility. After that comes a power and strength testing where the players have to undergo the vertical and broad jump exercises and the dreaded bench press. I was pretty nervous, um, I kind of just put my head down and walked in. Um, you know, there's a lot of people looking at you. Having that many people that close, a big camera on you, and everyone kind of stopping what they're doing to watch you, is uh, it's, it's nerve wracking. You got like 40 coaches there sitting, and, and already your heart's just beating out of your chest. So um, it's intimidating, but you just kind of have to set it aside. With the first stage of testing over with, and the draft only weeks away, these guys are eager to show the teams what they're made of. I want to come out on top. Want to want to do better than every other guy at every test. Just show the coaches that I can play. I feel I can play at the next level. Show everybody what I'm what I'm capable of, and uh, walk away with a good feeling. On day two, the players move back under the dome at Varsity Center for more drills and exercises. The 40-yard dash and the shuttle exercise test the players' speed and agility. Then the players hit the field in their groupings for independent drills and one-on-ones. During the drills, the coaches and GMs are all watching closely to find that right fit for their team come draft day. What do you look for specifically when drafting a player? Well, character. I think uh, you need to have, uh, because there's no shortage of uh, talent here. There's no question about that, whether you pick one player or whether you pick another. Uh, when push comes to shove, uh, you know, uh, you know, what's his attitude going to be? Is he going to shine or is he just going to shy away from the situation? Uh, we're looking for the best players available. And, and we have some needs, too. You know, we'd like to get somebody in a defensive line, defensive back, maybe a receiver. So, but we're, we want to look at taking, you know, the, the best player. What do you specifically look for in drafting a player? Well, there's a lot of things you're looking for. I, I guess the main thing is uh, how can they fit in to, to your team and how can they help you uh, to win football games. But, you know, you also have to look at the character. You have to look at the personality. You know, that's a big part of uh, being able to be a professional athlete. So how would you grade your overall performance at evaluation camp? Um, pretty satisfied. Um, I had goals coming in. I wanted to come out on top uh, for pretty much every test, and uh, I did. Um, if I didn't finish first, finish second. So, uh, and the one-on-ones went great. I was fairly happy uh, coming in with my performance yesterday, and today, uh, you know, it felt good to get out there and run out with the boys. You know, you can never be uh, completely uh, prepared for all the drills and stuff they throw at you, but I think I did a pretty good job overall. With the pressure of E-Camp off their shoulders, the players still have a lot of hard work ahead of them before draft day. Um, getting ready for camp if, uh, if I get invited so that, uh, so that I can show them again what I can do and just staying in shape. Change up my tra training schedule a little bit and then uh, just get ready for a camp hopefully. What do you have planned between now and draft day? Uh, just keep working out. I mean, it might take a week, couple days off when I get back, but then uh, it's going to be right back at it and try to get ready for camp. I'm just going to uh, head back to Idaho and continue to train and uh, just kind of play the waiting game and just wait until uh, April 30th. With every player having hopes of being selected and few actually making it to the big league, the 2008 Canadian Draft is sure to be an exciting day. For a live webcast, tune in here at cfl.ca or at tsn.ca on April 30th at noon. For cfl.ca, I'm Christy Gamos.